Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Image Frame plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to take images from the internet, both still and moving, and put them into your Minecraft server using item frames. Now, it's very straightforward, it's easy to do, and there's a few different ways you can do it. And overall, this plugin is fantastic. So, we're going to jump straight into it and do the forward slash image frame command. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of them. So what we want to do is the create command followed by the name. So I'm going to call it sign one and then we need a URL. So go ahead and go over to Google and then I found this image earlier. I'm just going to copy and paste the URL, paste it in. And then what we need to do is select the width and the height. How many item frames high and wide do we want it to be? So I want it to be four across and then three down. And then we can either have them as separate maps, which can be quite awkward, especially if it's a big image, or you can combine them into one. So for this one, I'm going to show you all the separate maps. Now, what you would need to do is right click every single map like so in order to get all the images. And as you can see, I'm still missing a few, which are probably up here. Here are the last three. So as you can see, it's taken the image and it looks pretty nice. Obviously, you can still see the item frames behind it, which is why it's a good idea to use another plugin to hide these, which is pretty handy. So what we can do now is show you what a combined one looks like. So if we do the same command and this one, it's going to be a pig. I've already got a URL. It's going to be five by five. And this time we're going to combine them into one simple image. And now we can right click the bottom and suddenly we have a nice pig's face here. As you can see, that makes it very, very straightforward. Another way that we can actually size it up is by using item frames. So what we could do is make this a little bit larger and do the same thing again, but instead this time selecting it rather than counting them out. And the way we do that is we do the forward slash image frame select. And then what you do is right click the top corner and right click the bottom left corner. And then we can repeat this command that we did earlier and it's going to fill it out nicely. Now it's six by six and that was a lot easier than, you know, counting out. It selects the entire wall, which you can use. Now, finally, we can also use GIFs so we can have a moving one, which is going to be pretty handy. So let's go ahead and copy and paste this. And this one's actually quite wide. So what we need to do is create a nice and wide one. So that's going to be six by three. And we can do the four slash image frame create. And it's going to be GIF. Make sure we've got the URL and it's going to be six wide, three down, combined, hit enter. And here it is, the GIF image. And we're going to right click the bottom. And as you can see, there is Mr. Bean sitting in the grass waiting for his car to come. So there's a couple of other useful commands. We can do the image frame get command and then we can obviously get whichever one we want. There is the image frame delete and you can get rid of any of these that you don't want anymore. And then a pretty handy one is adding a marker so we can do marker add followed by one of these we're going to use the server miner one and we're going to call this um, just m1 that's the marker's name and then we select the position it's going to be so let's go ahead and select maybe 10 and then what color do you want it to be so we'll do green and the caption so uh, this is so much a little bit and now what we need to do is place it somewhere so i'm going to right click the bottom frame and you can see there it is. It's been placed and that adds a bit of information to the frame. And you can see I made one over here as well. This is a blue one. So here we are on the SMP control panel. And as you can see, there is the data folder and a config.yml. So there's a few things in here. There's the various messages that you'll get in chat. Um, and then if we scroll down, we've got the various settings. So you've got the max size so people can't crash the servers with it. So keep that nice and small. And then do you require empty maps, yes or no, when you're not in creative? And then you can whitelist certain websites, um, which means you have to get images from elsewhere. You've got the max size and then the amount each player or each group can create, which is pretty cool as well. Here we are on the Spigot page. You can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.19. And the important thing with this is you need protocol lib for it to work. And if we scroll down, there's some great examples that you can see there's a nice GIF and there's one with some signs in a pretty cool train cart station. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serveminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.